If it gets too dark, oh, oh, I'll be all right. Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Our Crybaby Whims. And as you can see, we are here in the town of Willow Creek where our beautiful family has recently moved. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at their new humble abode. And if you are not part of the Raven family but want to be part of the Raven family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified when a new episode goes live on the channel. So this is the home that I have built for our family. They are now, like I said, in Willow Creek. They have a two-story home here in Willow Creek. So let's quickly go ahead and go in and take a look. So if you go in their home, they are currently in the middle of a welcome wagon because they literally just moved in. But if you go in, right when you go into the home, there is a entryway, like breezeway here, and they have just this little um, entryway here with a little coat rack and so they go in through their entryway here and just off that there is a open breezeway where they can go into their living space and this is their living area with a fireplace and if they continue down their hall in their entryway you can go into their giant kitchen because as we know Zeke and Cassiopeia both do a bit of cooking here so I did want to give them a nice big kitchen to cook in and they have already gone ahead and cooked up a meal here in this kitchen. So they are already eating and of course someone brought over some fruitcake. So the, the, <laughs> the guests have already helped themselves to some food here and they were all just eating together. So this is their big kitchen space and I absolutely love this kitchen. It is a really cute kitchen. Um, I think it is turned out really really nice so I hope you guys like it and then off of the kitchen here they can go through this hall here and there is a huge master um, bathroom with this nice big tub and a um, laundry area as well and then they also have a shower here and then to get upstairs you actually go through the bathroom there is a flight of stairs and then you go upstairs and once you go up the stairs there is another half bath here and then through the stairs there are all of the bedrooms here off of the stairs so once you go up the stairs there is this nursery here so this is Carissa's room and then off of Carissa's room or off the hallway here we have Cassiopeia and Zeke's room here and I did give her some weights since she doesn't have the punching bag in the house. I did provide some weights for her in case she wants to work out in here in the house. And then I did put the boys in this room so they all have a bunk bed each with some different options. So we have a desk on this one, we have a chair on this one, and we have a dresser under this one. So the three boys will be in this room and they also have a little weight section here and a violin. They've got some things that they can do here. And then that is pretty much their home. But if you go downstairs, there is out back. If they go through the outdoors gate here outside we have a punching bag for Cassiopeia and the boys and we have some toys section here for Carissa there is a grill there is a table and then they have a swimming pool so there are some options here for things for the children to do so I think that the house turned out really, really well. I did put some sneak out windows in this house for our teens because that may be a possibility that they're going to try to sneak out. So this is the home. I hope that you guys like it. It is a little bit of a downgrade from our last home, but I really um, think that it is going to be sufficient for the needs um, of what we have here. As we know in our last episode, at the end, we did lose Cassiopeia's mother, and so everyone in the family is really sad from a loss in the family. It says it's hard to see those closest to us pass away. 
and Cassiopeia can find some solace by mourning at a tombstone or urn. So everyone in the family is super sad. We are having a welcome wagon go on currently right now, but no one is really in the mood for visitors because everyone just wants to kind of cry it out. So we're just going to let everyone kind of deal with whatever it is they want to do here because they are seriously, seriously sad. As we know, Cassiopeia is in the politician career now. Zeke is in the social influencer career and our boys are in school. Tevin here is a B student and Davis is a B student as well as Landon is a B student and then we know that and we know that Carissa is not in school. We do need to get Cassiopeia to successfully promote her cause for her job so I will probably go ahead and let her come over here to one of her neighbors that have come over and we will see if we can promote the cause that way we can meet her aspiration here for her job so let's go ahead and greet the new neighbor okay we need to choose a cause first so let's do that political career pick a cause let's do no sim left behind and well then done. let's well go done. ahead and well promote done. our cause to good. these oh, neighbors me. here Wabarani Zimze Bayumi Jasper Yaboiva Fabashi Smiva Makozo She's like Yeah, so I am oh, doing boy. a cause here that is no that sim is going to be left behind and I'd like to you know get you guys on board with that. So Alex has listened to Cassiopeia's passionate remarks about the cause and is feeling inspired to take action. Congrats on successfully promoting the cause. And it says, glad we got a chance to cat. And Vea has listened and is also feeling expired, inspired by this. So she is successfully promoting her cause everywhere she goes, which we absolutely love. Let's go ahead and see if we can get her to promote her cause to Eliza Pancakes as well and then we will be able to go ahead and you know just make everybody happy here what do we think Eliza Eliza is is feeling expired as well and we were successful with that also what about you Bob So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to Bob here. That way we can get to know him and promote our cause. She's like, hello, my name is Cassiopeia. It's really nice to meet you. I am new to the neighborhood. Just wanted to say hello. And he's like, hi there. It's really nice to meet you. My name is Bob Pancakes. And she's like, yes, I, I realize that. I just met your wife. I just wanted to say that I am new to the area, but I am a politician. I am promoting the cause of no sim left behind. And I just wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about that. And he's like, oh, really? And she's like, yes, I'm very passionate about this cause. Bob was barely listening with Cassiopeia tried to promote their cause. It's difficult to tell if he disagrees with Cassiopeia or simply doesn't care. Bob, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> but he is flirting with his wife, so I mean, there's that. All right. Well, the welcome wagon is just about over here. She is going to go ahead and come over here and take care of Carissa here. Carissa is very, very upset. What is wrong with you, honey? So much. There's so much wrong with you. Okay. Let's go ahead and give you something to eat. You're going to be okay. Let's give you a little bit of a hug here, okay? Mommy's going to give you a hug. Mommy's going to give you a little bit of a hug here. Yeah, okay. Oh, Davis is so, so upset. Everyone is super sad by the loss of their mom slash mother-in-law, or soon-to-be mother-in-law slash grandmother and it is really, really sad. We are going to let her finish her drink there, and then we are going to go ahead and put her to bed. Landon is just doing his homework, it looks like, and he just finished that, so let's go ahead and get you off to bed there, sir. 
and Davis son let's go ahead and get you off to bed as well no you don't need to deal with Carissa mom has got that under control you can just go ahead and come on and go to bed and Tevin is already in bed you are going to put baby to sleep so everyone is going to go ahead and get to bed here it is getting really late let's go ahead and put Carissa to bed Cassiopeia, get off your ass and put Carissa to bed. Thank you. She is so distraught over the loss of her mother. What are you doing? Why are you not putting her to bed? Put Carissa to bed. Why can we not put this child to bed? Carissa, can you go to bed by yourself, sweetheart? No. Okay, let's get her a different bed. Clearly there's something wrong with this bloody bed. Which sucks because that's a freaking adorable bed. What are you doing, Landon? You need to go to bed, son. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Well, you should ask other kids if you can join. Which is going to raise his conflict resolution. Which is perfect. Alright, but for now, Landon, you need to go to bed, son. It's not time for computers. It's time for bed. You need to go to bed, and everyone needs to go to bed. You need to put her to bed right away. Put her to bed. Come on, you can do it, Cassiopeia. You can put her in her bed. She's like, I don't think I can. I really do think you can. Or you can give her a bath. Okay, let's reset Cassiopeia. What is going on? Let's go ahead and give Carissa a bath. Oh, that's why we can't do anything with you. Because you're in the way. Put her down. Davis, go your ass to bed, son. <clears throat> okay, so Cassiopeia is going to just give Carissa a little bit of a bath here. And then all of our children are going to go ahead and get their needs taken care of and get themselves to bed when you are done giving her her bath you can put her to bed yes good job now put her to bed it's fine okay hold on i'm just just for shits and giggles let's just teleport this tele this child up here can you go to bed in your own bed what is the problem with these adults. Other than the fact that you're a pain in my ass, Cassiopeia. Go to bed. But you can go to sleep as well. Cassiopeia! Emotional what is damage. your deal? I was about to say, like, I don't know why you're not wanting to go to bed, child. But honestly, not that you're a child, but you're driving me insane. Almost like you're my child. All right, so everyone is asleep. I will see you guys in the morning. It is the next morning and everyone is just going ahead and dealing with their needs. I am just going to queue up here for everyone to go ahead and get their needs taken care of. I'm going to get Tevin here to get some food for Carissa out. Is this high chair not gonna work? Because I've queued up that for like 14 times. And I am just going to have her go ahead and eat this if she can. Eat this if you can. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well. For whatever reason, they can't feed her, but she was able to eat that on her own. So we are just going to let her play now. She's going to do a little bit of fun time, which we love. Landon is just taking care of some of his knees, which are perfect. Davis, what is it, son, that you are doing? You need to go to the washroom. Go down here and go to the washroom, and then you need to get yourself a shower. And then you need to use the washroom. And what are you doing? She is so tense. 
get yourself some fun and you need to get yourself fun everyone is in seriously seriously bad shape in this episode and for whatever reason they are just having a really rough time <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what the problem is but they are having seriously bad problems seriously bad problems let me go ahead and get her some more food here because clearly they are having trouble feeding her actually she could probably come down and grab herself a serving I think she can use the stairs she's like I'm gonna help myself to some damn grilled cheese because no one in this family is how to feed me you know what Carissa I feel your pain I really do you know what I really do and why are you in such a bad place she is swimming in circles in her pool which we love um, but why don't you go ahead and go get yourself something to eat because you are chilled from being cold because you're swimming in cold temperatures the poor thing I swear oh that was hilarious she went outside and started swimming and then got cold and lit herself a fire here it is spooky day today so the children are out of school and they are obviously not going to um, you know need to have to worry about that Davis has identified the minnow a new type of fish reported in certain fishing I mean that's beautiful I am going to actually have Davis and um, Tevin head over to their father's today it is a holiday but they are gonna go and meet their new sister today so they're gonna actually go over there and meet their little sister in today's episode so let's go ahead and travel with them and meet their little sister we have arrived here at the Talbot residence and they are just going to come over here and knock on the door and see if they can come and visit with their dad well they don't even have to knock they're just gonna go ahead and come on over and visit with their dad he is going to go ahead and give himself a pep talk and just you know try to give themselves a little bit of a you know we need to cheer up kind of thing both of these boys are extremely sad by the loss of their grandmother they're gonna come in here and they're going to try to get to know Liberty Lee a little bit better that after all is their step well will be their stepmother if their parent like their dad decides to remarry and they also need to come up here and meet their little sister so I am gonna have Tevin just come up here and get to know his little sister so we are going to just come up and talk to her and rock her and then we will have Davis come up and cuddle and bounce and then obviously they can spend a little bit of time with their dad and as you can see we are here with Elias and it has been quite some time since we have spent time with Elias and they <laughs> they are in a relationship together here look at him with his little sister being the good big brother that he is we know that he does pretty good with the big, with the younger siblings we've seen him in action in our house so he is just loving on Francis and now we are just going to go ahead and get Davis to come over and do the same and what does Tevin think of this new little one he doesn't really care one way or the other I suppose oh but Davis is being super cute oh Oh, that's adorable this is inappropriate please stop what is inappropriate oh Tevin swiped an object he's stealing from them Tevin why are you stealing from your dad's house I mean he is a little klepto we know this about him he has a problem okay okay he has a problem we can't help it 
Let's ask for some advice from her because we know that, you know, she did know Clara and so maybe she can give us a little bit of advice. She is feeling super flirty. I think, guys, that she might be pregnant again. Is she pregnant again? Let's find out if she is pregnant again because I'm thinking she might be pregnant again. Current children, two. She has two children. How does she have two children? So he is just going to obviously spend some time, or they are going to spend some time with their dad. And we are going to, you know, just ask Elias how he's been. Obviously, we haven't seen Elias in quite some time. And it was awkward the last time they were over here. And, you know, they are older now. They're hoping that, you know, things might be a little different. But it doesn't really seem to be that different. Because as you can see, they're not really getting that much attention from their dad. He seems to only be interested in talking to Liberty Lee, which is unfortunate. So they are spending a little bit of time together. He is really, really sad. And he's just telling his dad, like, hey, you know... Don't know if you heard, but grandma passed away and he's like, oh, I didn't actually know that. And he's like, yeah. And, you know, mom and all of us are really, really sad. We just wanted to come over and see you. You know, life is really short, dad. And, you know, we haven't seen you in so long. And he's like, yep, I understand that completely. But he doesn't have time to really spend clearly talking with Tevin because he's so busy on his phone and dealing with Liberty Lee. And Tevin's like, Dad, like, I was trying to have a conversation with you. And he's like, yep, son, I, I'm, I'm listening. But clearly he's not listening. These boys are kind of on their own. They're just, you know, watching television and talking to themselves in the mirror. Look at him. They're just not having the kind of talks. Oh, and bad knees, Bo. <laughs> an interaction with their dad that they had kind of hoped they would by coming over and seeing him. Maybe. Which is really, really unfortunate. I had really hoped that Elias's relationship with them might be able to be a little bit different now that they are older. But it just Maybe. doesn't seem to be the case. It really just doesn't. And both of these boys are just super upset by the fact that their dad is just not giving them the time of day. Tevin's like, why'd we come here again? <laughs> and Davis is like, I think we had hoped that dad would be a better dad. And Tevin's like, why are we even bothering you? You know we've got Zeke. And Davis is like, I think you've got a point. So these two are going to go ahead and head back home. They gave it their best shot, but they're just really disappointed in their dad. And they're like so sick of trying and getting hurt. And they do have a great father figure in Zeke. And they are, they're just unfortunately tired of being burned by Elias. And unfortunately, as teenagers, they are seeing a lot more of what they maybe didn't get to see as children. As children, you don't see kind of the big picture, whereas as teenagers, you do. So they are now seeing a lot more of Elias than what they actually thought when they were younger. I mean, their feelings got hurt, but now that they're older, they're seeing, their eyes are really, really being opened to how much he's actually abandoned them. We have made it back to the house here. The boys and everyone as you can see, are just really, really upset. They are going to go in and they're going to have a talk with Zeke here. Zeke, why don't you actually get into some real clothes? Um, they're going to have a chat with Zeke here and they're just going to say like, you know, I was wanting to congratulate you on your engagement to mom and I wanted to just tell you that, you know, we're really excited about your upcoming wedding. We are, you know, so glad that you're about to become our stepdad. You couldn't have been a better stepdad to us. You are like a father to us. We are super thrilled. And we're really, really sorry that, you know, it's taken us this long to let you know how important you are to us. And Zeke's like, guys, you know, that means so much to me. I can't tell you how much it means to me that you guys feel that way 
and I, you know, I really love you guys so much, and, you know, I, I love you guys too, like, you know, you guys are like, you know, you're like my own kids, and so, <clears throat> he loves these guys like they're his own. And Cassiopeia is obviously sitting here. She can hear, obviously, what the boys are saying. And she's feeling so blessed to know that her boys feel this way about Zeke. And she is absolutely thankful that they feel that way. She's loving the fact that they, you know, care so much about him. And, you know, that they feel so strongly about the person that she's chosen to be in her life. And to be, you know the person that helps her raise the kids up the rest of the rest of their um, young you know teen lives and things like that so she is aside from the fact that she's extremely sad um, she's also feeling really really blessed can you please clean that up instead of just sitting it away like sitting it down like actually throw it away thanks so um, other than that there's not really a whole lot that they can do today other than you know the fact that it is spooky day and there is a lot of things that they um, would normally be doing that they're not doing like there there's not anyone going to work today there's not anyone going to school today everyone is taking the day off from those things due to the fact that it is a holiday the children are really sad everyone is feeling really really sad from the loss of the grandparents as you can see, Carissa is doing fantastic due to the fact that she um, finally has some food in her stomach. And so she's doing great. She's playing with her toys here and feeling really, really good in her space, which we love. Landon here is crying in his bed and doing a little bit of imagination, it would seem. When he's done with that, we are going to get him taking a bath. He needs a little bit of hygiene and buddy why don't you actually go ahead and get yourself a bit of a nap you clearly need it davis here um is just really tired tevin you know i don't know you need to take care of your needs everyone is you know just struggling to just make it through a day these at this time there is just so much sadness going on that you know they're just really struggling I think we are going to have to start making plans for a wedding soon, Cassiopeia. What do you think? She's like, yeah, probably. Zeke is just going ahead and getting ready to use the washroom here. Seriously, go and use the washroom. All right, let's take a look at... And then we need to start making some wedding plans. Why did you not go to the bathroom? I know there is a door to this bathroom. Oh, because there's someone in there okay well why did you not go to then this bathroom I don't really care what bathroom you use as long as you use one like just use one. Oh, that's why he can't even go upstairs okay I see what I've done now no one can go upstairs when there's someone in this room okay I have corrected the stair issue and hopefully they will be able to go ahead and use the washroom and not have to worry about walking in on each other <laughs> and things like that so now it goes into the entryway here and up instead of going into the um, bathroom so you no longer have to enter the bathroom in order to go up the stairs that was probably not the best at course of action in hindsight but that's okay we have corrected that all right and I am just going to go ahead and sell some of the things in their inventory here and make sure that they have done their homework for the day which it looks like everyone has done which is perfect we absolutely love that and Cassiopeia honey what are you doing 
Okay, so she's just checking in with Tevin just to see how he's doing after he went and visited Elias. She's wanting to make sure he's okay. And he's like, no, Mom, I'm not okay. It was horrible. He, once again, ignored us like we weren't even there and spent all of his time with Liberty Lee. It was absolutely ridiculous. And she's like, oh, Tev, I'm so sorry to hear that, honey. And he's like, it's fine. We just realized that Zeke is the person that needs to be in our life. And she's like, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. So... We are just going to um, deal with trying to get them their marriage um, done very soon. We'll be having a wedding done. I don't know that I am going to actually use the My Wedding Stories pack for this wedding just because it is broken. And so I will probably just have them do something quick and easy. And I know that is probably not what, um, you know you guys want to see but um, that's probably what I'm going to do I don't even know being that this is her second marriage I mean I don't know I haven't yet decided if I want to do something over the top which I probably won't her parents are dead um, well her mom has passed away I don't think her dad has passed away yet let's take a look and make sure her dad is still with us actually so we still have yeah, Diego is still kicking, which we love. He is an elder, but he is still alive, so we love that. <laughs> Thank God. Um, but Claire is obviously no longer with us. Um, and so I think that um, what we'll do is instead of having a big formal wedding will probably do something like elope. Um, they probably will just do that for the simple fact that it's just easier for everyone if they just do something quick and simple with the family um, and even even maybe not even with the family. It would be kind of like a courthouse wedding or something like that is probably what they're going to do. Um, or maybe just something at the house with just their family and not anything major um, with just like the her and the kids so if I do that that's probably what I'm going to do my face is a mess I can't go anywhere looking like this what can I do uh, I think she would tell him it's fine don't overreact and that will raise his manners so I am going to go ahead and I think leave this episode here it has been a lot going on. We have had a new house that we have moved into, a welcome party. She has promoted her cause successfully. We have a um, new baby sister that they have, uh, you know, g gone and met and, you know, seem to care about quite a little bit. Unfortunately, dad is still dad and that sucks for everyone involved. They have really gotten closer to Zeke after, you know, realizing that, unfortunately, Elias is never going to change. And we have a wedding that we are going to plan. I do actually think I may just have them a wedding here at the house in the backyard. We could probably do it somewhere around here and just set up a little reception area or something like that. So I will probably go ahead and get that set up for our next episode. We will just have us a little backyard wedding here and we'll probably just do that. And I will just um, plan for them to get married in our next episode. So I will do um, all of the setup for that um, between now and the next episode. And you guys will see that in the next episode. So I am going to go ahead and leave it here and hopefully they will not be mourning in the next episode and you know we'll, we can have us a nice happy wedding. So I am going to go ahead and leave it here guys. Don't forget like I said to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are <laughs> notified when new episodes go live on the channel. And until the next time I am going to go ahead and fly for now. Bye Ravens!